Bonnie Steepleton, Director of Student and Career Services at the University of New Mexico School of Law. And today we're gonna to talk about employment statistics that we collect, where they're reported and why. So the American Bar Association has required law schools to have their employment statistics displayed on all law school web pages. It is standard 509 and the required disclosures for my office, Student and Career Services is 509B7, Employment Outcomes. The employment outcomes that are reported are collected through our system that we call Connect. And the Connect system is something I hope you're all familiar with. This is where the online job portal is for you to apply for jobs, for job postings to come in, etc. For us, um, when you log in, this is the admin me logging in as a student. If you are not a 3L, because when you log in right now, it'll pop up to remind you to go ahead and fill it out right now at grad. Down here under jobs and job offers, you report your status and it has all the updates you can do. This data then is collected in the brain of this program and it is reported to the ABA directly. Patrick and I spend time at 10 months collecting this data and without your updates, it makes it really hard because we have to chase all you guys down and find you and have it updated and all those kind of things. So in terms of where the data is reported, on the law school website, the main page here, this is School of Law, go to Career Services, scroll down here, Employment Statistics, and then we have a nice little graphic here. The latest data that we've reported is from the class of 2021. It lags almost a year. So the actual report looks like this. Put it up for you. So every school that you go to will have this page somewhere on their web page. And the data from the class of 2021 shows there were 105 graduates and the number with JD bar passage required jobs was 80, six JD advantage, three professional, two other, three state start date deferred, seven not seeking unemployed and four seeking unemployed. So that's how you get to it from our website. Really simple, straightforward. Please go in there and update whenever you can. The thing to remember is that the ad grad collection for us is mostly so we can get your contact information. We understand that most people, the vast majority of the class will not have an ad grad offer, which is fine and that's normal, but we're asking for your help. If you have any questions about this, feel free to contact Patrick or me in Career Services and thanks for your time and attention to this video.